Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I want to do is show you how to set up an automated reply to a specific email address from like a specific group of people. So for example, I'm an instructor, so I want to set up an email that automatically replies to only students. So oftentimes students email me and they're like, what's my grade? Um, what am I missing? Um, what if I miss this class? And so I have like rules for all of those things. And instead of having to repeat myself over and over again, I can have this automated response go out to student that will go to them right away and maybe answer their question. And in the meantime, then I can look at their email and see if there's anything that I, needs further answers for them. And students generally like an automated response because they want to know that you got their email. So this is how you do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create your email template. This is what you're going to send out to the student. So you, I'm going to just type, dear student, here are some frequently asked questions that you may have. And here are the answers. So I could type in one, please see Blackboard for four grades. Okay. And then whatever else I'm going to put in there. So this is just an example. So then what I do is I come up to here and I go File, Save, Save As. And then you just save it wherever you want. Now, uh, you can put it up under templates. I could put it under documents if I wanted to. And I could put uh, student. I could name this like student. But I don't want it to be a message. I want it to be an Outlook template. So here, OT, OFT is what you want. So I'm going to click Save for that. Okay, and then I can just close this actually. Nope, we don't want to save our changes. And then what we'd want to do is come over to here, Rules, and we want to go Create Rule. Okay. And actually, I want to do advanced options. So once we do that, we want to do advanced options. And then what I want to do is I want to go down here to where it says specific words in the sender's address. So that, and then what you do is you come down here and you click on where it says specific words. And we're just going to type in students. We click add. We click OK. Then we go next. Now what we want to do is we want to reply using a specific template, which is right here. So we click on that, and then we click on this. And then we basically have to go get our template. And, oops, yeah, so use templates file system. And here you can see I have one in, in student in default, but I can also go browse, and since I did save it to uh, documents, I'll probably go there. And then documents. And there it is, students. I click open. Next. Now it wants to know if we have exceptions, but if we don't, that's called students. Turn on this rule. There everything is. Click finish. And it's just telling you that you have to have the Outlook client open in order for this to run. So if this is closed, it's not going to work. And if you're in the web browser Outlook, that's not going to work either. So click OK. And it's ready to go. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If a student now emails me, they will get an automated response. This is LearningEngineer.com. Have a great day.